This is an official driver's license photo. Nico Alm from Vienna applied for his license two years ago wearing a colander. It made for an unusual headshot, but the authorities allowed it. When I applied for the license, there was a small brochure from the Interior Ministry that said you weren't allowed to wear head coverings in your driver's license photos, except for religious reasons. As an atheist, I don't belong to any religion, but I thought I'd like to make use of that special right, and so I wore something on my head. Alm is part of a group that call themselves Pastafarians. They also belong to a satirical faith known as the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster. Some members claim they've spotted the spaghetti monster himself. One sighting allegedly took place atop a high-rise building in Germany. But Nico says it's no joke. I was wearing the colander on my head when I walked into the license bureau. People certainly looked at me oddly, but they didn't ask any questions. The clerk took my application and didn't say a thing. He saw I was wearing the colander and he was holding a photo of me wearing it. He was expressionless. But right after I left, he phoned me. Nico was told to visit an official doctor who would determine whether he was mentally fit. He passed the test and received his license. Meanwhile, the police say the rule is that the head simply needs to be visible in the photo. The driver's license law states that a person's head must be clearly recognizable, which was the case with this photo too. Though you don't recognize the colander at first, the head is clearly visible through it. I expected a negative outcome. Instead, I got my license. Nico says that just because a religious institution like the Catholic Church is recognized by the government doesn't mean it should enjoy special rights. He's pushing for a strict separation of church and state. In fact, many Austrians are pushing for a public referendum on the issue. We've made posters and postcards that address different sides of the issue. The main messages are no state within a state, no tax money for perpetrators of abuse, and no funding for misogyny. Petitions are available around Austria, but signing up means countering certain taboos. What's interesting is that we get a lot of inquiries from people, particularly in small communities, who are afraid to show their support. It's tantamount to being outed, and they fear reprisals. Some people are really scared. However, many Austrians sympathize with the Pastafarians' cause, even though the headgear issue is not relevant to the Catholic Church. In the end, it can disadvantage religious minorities. The Jewish kippah or Islamic headscarf would presumably be important in this context. Perhaps the best solution to the issue would be to permit all kinds of headgear and ID photos and take the privilege out of the religious realm.